Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain how you might wire an LED or light emitting diode into a circuit. LED stands for light emitting diode. Now a diode, if I spell it correctly, diode, a diode is a device which allows electric current to pass through it only in one direction. So it has a certain amount of safety in it that if you connect it the wrong way around, it actually isn't going to do very much. But the one problem about an LED, light emitting diode, is that it is a current driven device. There are different ratings, but usually an LED will take something like 30 milliamps, a very small current, a very, very small current indeed. So this very small current, travelling through this light-emitting diode, causes it to give out light. And of course that light can be of different colours, the common ones red, blue, green. If you want a yellow, then you mix a red and a green. You actually put two diodes together and it'll look yellow, but actually it's two diodes, a red and a green. But the most important thing is to regulate the current flowing through here. And to regulate that current through the light emitting diode, you need to make sure that the voltage between the ends of it, the voltage by Ohm's law is I times R, you've got to put in a resistor which will limit the current because the light emitting diode has a very small resistance. And therefore this resistor is very important. If the current you want is 30 milliamps, 30 milliamps, that's 30 over 1000 amps, multiplied by the resistance, let's say I'm using, as I might use, a 12 volt supply, then that is like a car battery, 12 is equal to 30. So by rearranging this equation now, bring this to the other side, I'll get 12 times 1000 over 30, and, well, if we cancel it down, it's 1,200 over, 30, uh, over 3, which is, gives us a resistance of 400 ohms. And that will be a typical value for the resistor in a circuit where you're operating with an LED. This resistor is always incorporated into the LED, or should be. If you buy an LED array, you will often find that the resistor is already built in. If you want to use several of these, you tend to buy an integrated circuit in which there are maybe seven or eight resistors, all the same value. It makes it much simpler to connect these in. If you want more light, you have more LEDs. And if I connect another one by the side, here's my second light emitting diode. I put it into my circuit in the same way. And I still need here 400 ohms. This one, of course, is 400 ohms, as we've already calculated. So each LED needs a 400 ohm resistor. Or, if the current capacity of the resistor is quite high, it is actually also quite reasonable to connect the 400 ohm resistor to a series of LEDs, each of which is placed up to the 12 volt line in this way. So you've got a series of separate LEDs all connected through one high powered resistor. That is a resistor which can take a high current. Either of these will work. The resistor here is what is controlling the current. So when I'm connecting in my uh, light emitting diodes I must have a resistor for each light emitting diode 
to limit the current to 30 milliamps. And that is how I wire up my LED in an electrical circuit.